Shot, as it turns out, is not Albuquerque's only solar flare-out. News 13 has learned that a large, taxpayer-funded solar system installed at the Sunport three years ago still doesn't work and never has. Here's Dean Staley on special assignment. Look closely at the rental car facility at Albuquerque's Sunport and you'll find a dazzling display of mirrors perched atop the roof. A high-tech system designed to focus the sun's rays at a single water-filled pipe. Here's your supply that comes back from the arrays coming into the chiller. The hot water from that pipe is supposed to help heat the building in winter and in the summer power a chiller to help cool the same building. This is all the PLC controls that controls the whole system. It was an ambitious project, the largest system of its type ever installed in the U.S. A joint venture between the state, the Sunport, NMSU, and a private company called Heliodynamics based in London. From the beginning, the project was something of an experiment, a demonstration project to test whether this idea could work on a large scale. It was started in 2009, but three years and nearly half a million of your tax dollars later, and this project is still not quite up and running. The major setback came when Heliodynamics went out of business and left the project out on a limb. The state's Department of Energy, Mining and Natural Resources funded the project to the tune of nearly $200,000. Why did the state dump so much money into an untested technology? The department defended the choice, saying it was a worthwhile technology to pursue given the issues with cooling and electricity usage in the southwest. Albuquerque Sunport made its own bet on the solar-powered system. What did this cost the city? 277, 278,000. What did we get for it? Um, a system that we're still trying to get to work. With heliodynamics out of the picture, the Sunport scrounged enough parts to complete the system. They hope to have it up and running next year. Why get in this business as the Sunport? We have always um, been on the leading edge of technology development, uh, whether it be security um, systems and especially on the green, I'll call it, renewable energy front. This project has been a struggle, but to be fair, the Sunport has made other investments in alternate technologies that have paid off in big ways. These photovoltaic panels installed atop the parking structure in 2009 are one example. By day, they produce a full megawatt of power, enough to supply electricity to a thousand homes. The panels have cut the electric bill for the structure from $260,000 a year down to just $60,000. This summer, the Sunport replaced 3,000 runway lights with low-power LEDs. That change cut power usage by 40 percent. So those strange mirrors atop the rental car building may be a symbol of government waste, but in a world of new, untested technologies, they may pay off yet. On special assignment, Dean Staley, KRQE News 13. The head of the project at New Mexico State University says initial testing showed the system when it is finally up and running will save a lot of energy for a lot of years.